My name is Angelica Baker, and I wrote the book Our Little Racket, and this is my first novel. When Lehman Brothers fell in 2008, and sort of in the years after that, when I was thinking about what had happened, I was very interested in the women who were parts of, who were married to or otherwise intimately involved with the men at these banks. How would it feel if, if that man was your father? How would it feel if there was this humiliated CEO on Wall Street and that was your dad? And then it sort of grew out from there. How would it feel if you were married to this person? How would it feel if you worked for this person? I always thought of this book as sort of the portrait of the social pyramid scheme that these women whose husbands work on Wall Street have unwittingly recreated at home, the way that they have sort of repeated these patterns that their husbands have established in their professional lives and have those patterns have resurfaced in their personal lives as well. The book takes place primarily in Greenwich. There are um, parts of it that take place in New York City, but primarily Greenwich is, you know, the bedroom community where all of these men who work on Wall Street are coming home to. And Greenwich was also interesting to me because in 2008 when this was happening, the sort of five years before that, Greenwich had gone through a lot of development, a lot of sort of Wall Street money had moved in and, and in a much more ostentatious way maybe than previous generations had experienced and there was that was kind of a tension too that interested me. When I first showed this book to very early readers, almost across the board, the response that I got, and it wasn't something that I hadn't already thought about, was um, why would we care about the problems of people this wealthy? And that's not really the point to me. I think that um, the point of reading about wealthy people is not asking you to feel bad for their problems the way that you would feel bad for the problems of people with much less privilege. But I think there is always an aspect of so few people in this country have that level of wealth, and so there's always sort of a sociological curiosity to reading about that.